everybody. I'm Erica Carlson. I'm a realtor with Bricks Real Estate. This is iHeartMinneapolisHomes.com. If you go to my website, you can download a free buyer and seller guide. No strings attached. Don't have to enter your email. Nothing like that. You just click the button and it'll download for you. Very nice free resources for you with no strings attached. So today I want to talk to people who are thinking about selling their house. There's three ways to get the most money and I want you to be prepared to start with. You need to find a real estate agent that you like and trust. This is going to be the key to you having a successful and an easier sale uh, compared to some alternatives. They're going to bring in their professional advice to help you decide what improvements to do, what changes to make, and which things to skip. So for example, it's 2021. At this very moment, I don't advise my sellers to change very much. Even when they're saying they want to maximize the dollar, the inventory is so incredibly low in most markets. Now, with that said, there are micro markets, meaning condo market is different than a single family market or rural is different than city. And I know that sounds obvious, but we hear in the media these generalizations, inventory shortage, seller's market, people are making tons of money. Even from, it's uh, August right now, even from when we were selling houses in March to now, it doesn't feel the same. It's not the same the craziness has calmed down a little. So that puts that emphasis back on maybe doing a little bit more work on your house before you list it for that maximum dollar. So step two is obviously cleaning, decluttering, getting things organized, uh, Marie condoing your home. It's time to put away, we know, get rid of the personal items, depersonalize. We won't get into all of that. But we do need to think about how to maximize the space so when someone opens the closet doors and they will and they should know how big the closets are eliminate half the items in there just so you can show them there's room in here when it's still left stuffed and full they're not going to get that impression that they're going to get all their things in the house so please put it into storage um, please move it you know maybe it's time to donate some items you you really want to uh, do this to maximize your ROI and then uh, step three of course is to do a pre-listing well I shouldn't say of course it's an option to do a home inspection yes before your buyers come through not only could this ease your concerns about what might be found that you're not aware of it will help you pick who you want to pick if you want to fix things so you're going to be able to tell your buyers up front here's a professional inspection here's everything that they found about this house we remedied half of this uh, you get to pick who you want to come in pay the money you want to pay or don't or maybe you just disclose and it's that peace of mind that I'm telling you everything I know about this property up front. Uh, you know, it is a litigious society and you are selling a very large expensive item. It's probably best to know, you know, what you're dealing with or working with. The alternative, of course, is that you can wait for the buyer to do the inspection. And the buyer still may do their own inspection uh, and that there's no problem with that. They have every right to do their due diligence. Uh, but if you give it to them up front, there's going to be that trust, there's going to be that full disclosure. And again, it'll take away that surprise that if they came back and said, well, we want you to fix something, you already knew about it and you've already, um, you've already disclosed that. So there's no surprises anymore. So I hope that helps you as if you're thinking about selling your house. If you know somebody that's thinking about it, you might want to... Uh, tap the button down there and, and tag them or, or like or whatnot. If you want to talk about selling further or have me come through your house and let you know what I think is necessary or not necessary, I'm just one of, you know, one person's opinion. Uh, it should be helpful. I look at houses every day and I can see what people are drawn to and what people reject. And if nothing else from this video, please deep deep clean because it's free or it can be free if you do it yourself and to get that home shining it'll leave a completely different impression than one that still has spider webs on the corner hasn't been vacuumed etc 
trust me, people think if your house isn't clean, then you probably haven't been keeping up to things like the furnace and the roof and the air conditioner. So, um, you know, it's just a simple tip, but it's going to be huge. Have a great day.